So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are back today with Q&A Sunday. That is where you guys ask me questions, and yes, I answer them. It's as simple as that. We may have a little bit of gameplay in the background if I have time, or we may just have myself, but I'll probably put just something for you guys to watch as well as we rattle off these questions. So if you want to submit one, easy. Leave a comment below this video. Try and keep it short and sweet and I'll do my best to answer it for next week. Now, I have got quite a few to go through, not gonna do all of them. Uh, so if I don't do yours this week, please resubmit them um, this time. But let's dive into it. The first one is from uh, I am Kenny uh, J35. He says, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, obviously I'm British. I was, if I was in England, living in London, where I was born, then no, we wouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving, but I have got a wife who's American and um, yeah they celebrate it so this year I actually went to Seaside which is near Destin we had a reunion with all her sort of family side um, their last name Douglas big clan there was about 30 of us and uh, yeah we went from Tuesday till Sunday and I had some great fun so we did celebrate Thanksgiving there and uh, yeah it was uh, all sunshine and roses and the beach is mwah, beautiful uh, Vinny K says, would you start a series playing subscribers? Um, if I was doing YouTube full time, you know, every single day, numerous videos a day, maybe, you know, I'd have more time on my hands. But it's kind of hard when you work a job from eight to five. You've got other things to worry about. I just, I don't have the time, unfortunately, to play you guys. But I would love to play you guys because a lot of people talk smack and everything else in the comments saying how shit I am and all that fun stuff, but I would love to play you guys every now and then just to see can you actually perform the way you say and will you be able to beat me? But hey, maybe in the future, a couple of years down the line, it could be something we could look into. Uh, next up from Yank One Tony Bats, he says, I love your videos, thank you very much. Uh, question one, why do you think it's harder uh, to get black balls on my club this year? Simple. There's only one reason why it's harder this year. Money. It's as simple as that. Konami know if they give you all the black balls early on, who's going to spend the cash? No one. You know, there are some people that haven't spent a lot of money, and then there's other people that have spent probably thousands because they want the best players. And because the odds and the percentages aren't the same as they were last year, it is taking on people a lot more time now to get those black balls People will spend more money on it, and that is the reason why they're doing it. I mean, people are also getting a little frustrated because the odds aren't brilliant. I have to say the old Classico ones, the Heroes Legends, was actually worthwhile. I mean, I got a decent players. I didn't get any black balls, which is a little bit ridiculous that, you know, you spend 230,000 GP, 23 spins, and you get zero black balls. But, hey, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's the reason. And his second question, why isn't there a Major League Soccer on Pez? Thanks. Well, it's all licensing. I mean, it's that's it. It's in a nutshell. EA have a lot of licenses. The BPL, um, they're never going to have that. Konami, simple as that. They probably have the MLS. I know they have that in FIFA, so they probably have the license. And that is most of the time the reason why Konami can't put the leagues that they can. Uh, Mojo T6 says, how many times a week do you gym it up? Um, twice. I go Monday generally Thursday or I go Monday Friday and when I go I do everything I do a full body workout from benching you know to, to working on the old traps to the biceps the triceps I mean a bit of legs I should do more but yeah I basically go twice a week and do everything it works for me I don't have the time to go every single day five days a week I can't do it I just can't do it so it works that's what I do uh, Papa EE5 says can you speak Italian no, unfortunately not. I'm half Italian. My dad is Italian. My grandparents are full-blooded Italians. I tried it. I tried going to an Italian class when I was younger. I don't know how old I was when my parents said, you know what, I'm going to send you off. You learn Italian. And the only phrase, the only phrase that I learned while I was in this class was, can I go to the toilet? <laughs> that was the only phrase I learned. Because every 10 minutes I'd be like, Blah, 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 whatever the word was, I don't even know what it is now. And I used to go to the toilet. I hated the class, absolutely hated it. The teacher was horrendous. 
So, uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't, but I really wish uh, that I could have. Uh, Tyrone Sheehan says, do you have a girlfriend and are you going to introduce her to YouTube? Well, I actually have a wife. Um, yeah, married earlier this year, having a big proper wedding though next year. So, um, yeah, I do have a wife. I think she was being on maybe one or two videos if you look back. Uh, but yeah, she's not a whole fan of being in the camera type deal. So, yeah, you probably won't be seeing her for a while. Um, but there we go. Uh, Robert Production says, how old are you? Well, I am 54 years old, if you can believe that. No, you won't believe that because I'm not. I'm 28, getting close to that 30 mark, but, you know, life's been decent. And there we have it, 29 next June. Uh, none of the above 101, uh, a little bit of a long one, but uh, he says, any tips on how to score more goals on pairs? I have to say that the AI is more difficult this year. Yeah, that is true. Uh, just give me a general overview of tactics that you've used. Uh, do you adjust them in-game or mid-game? And TTB, seriously, if you can't beat them, join them. Absolutely. Well, you have to change tactics. You know, I will start a match against the AI. And generally, I play better in the second half than the first. The first half, I can struggle to create chances, especially with Leicester. And then the second half, it, it changes. I think the AI this year, they do adapt accordingly sometimes. Some games are harder than others, and that's just Pez in a nutshell. It's always been that way, but you have to adjust. I mean, if you play Tick Attacker and it's not working and the players are too compact, just switch it up. Play Hug the Touchline and, and spread out your team, um, and vice versa. If you play Hug the Touchline and the AI are not letting you do that, maybe bring it in field. Play Tick Attacker, push it through the middle, and see what happens. I mean, post-patch now, crossing and scoring seems a little bit harder, so, you know, it might be worthwhile now to try and work it through the middle as opposed to down the wings. But, yeah, that's, that's really all I can say. Tactics you have to play around with. Certain ones I don't use at all just because I don't really think they're that useful. I mean, I generally use hug the touchline or hug the sideline. We've got tick attacker every now and then. I think centering targets was a big one when you could cross and score a lot of goals. Uh, and then defensively... Deep defensive line is useful, but be careful because it does leave a big gap between your mid and your defenders. Uh, and then you also have tight marking, which does work out quite well. If you're having a problem with someone, tight, ma tight mark him really well. In fact, do that. You can do that if you have two centre forwards. You've got Ronaldo, you've got Messi or someone on my club. I'll tell you what, do a bit of tight marking on both of those with your centre backs. They will find it hard to push through. So yeah, that's just some tips from myself. Uh, Rookside says, Hi TTV, why don't you play FIFA? Well, I love PES, but there seems to be no proper PES content out there, and it's making FIFA get more views and get more people to love FIFA. Well, the simple fact of the matter is, FIFA's up here and PES is down here when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to sales, when it comes to everything. I mean, FIFA, you type in FIFA, there's a bucket load of videos. PES, there's just the same people uploading, and it's kind of the way it's gone. I mean, the reason I don't play FIFA as much is that point exactly. Most of my subscribers don't even watch a lot of FIFA stuff and, and pairs, and it has gone down a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to lie, my view count is, is dropped um, because I'm not putting out consistent content now with, uh, you know, working, and the fact that doing a Leicester career kind of made it... I don't know, you guys don't seem to watch that as much as a Manchester United one, so... That's the way the world works nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. If you put out a, a lower-ranked team, not as many people are going to watch it, obviously, as the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid. And a lot of the YouTubers nowadays, look, they do it for the views. They do it for the money. It's turned into a business. Um, and that's why they do it. That's why a lot of these videos now, it's not its not who you're getting in my club. There's no, there's no essence of surprise. It's... OMFG in the title, I got messy, and it's got a million views. I don't, I mean, to me, why am I going to watch that? I know you've got messy, I don't care, what's the point? But people love to watch it. I'm not kind of going off topic here, but it's, it's just, it's weird. I don't know why people love that so much, but if you put an OMFG and you put, I got Ronaldo or I got messy, people will watch it and it'll get millions and millions of views. But for me, I like to give you guys the essence of surprise. Who did I get? Don't know? Watch my video. That's the whole point. 
But yeah, I just I don't do FIFA. It's too crowded. It's the market's just just gone off the rails now, and it's uh, it's mental. I mean, maybe next year we'll bring it back. We'll see. But uh, you know, I will play Ultimate Team every now and then. Uh, P P kind of follows up from what I was saying there. Do you feel disappointed by less activity on your channel due to Pez? Uh, and think if you're a FIFA pro, uh, and think if you're a FIFA pro, I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, this is my favourite channel on YouTube. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, as I say, look, the, the, it's dropped here and there, and, and Konami messing up the servers and, and at the beginning and all that makes people want to play the game less, makes people want to watch the game less. Um, but I think the main thing is, look, me doing my Leicester Master League was probably not the wise decision on my part to get the views. If I did a Manchester United or a Man City or, you know, or not maybe Man City because, I don't know, they're not one of the, you know, favouritest teams out there, but Man United, the Real Madrid, the Barcelonas, I would get double the views probably. Um, just the way it's gone. It's the way it's gone. We live with it. We move on. It's disappointing, yes, but hey, this is not my full-time job. You know, this is extra income for me, so it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Beady-eyed Owen one says, do you think Liverpool can win the Premier League? You know, they're playing well, but at the moment, it, Chelsea. Chelsea are the team that's going to win that Premier League. You know, I do enjoy, that's the thing this year. I enjoy watching the likes of Chelsea and Liverpool because they have managers who attack um, and, and have passion, so much passion with Conte, so much passion with Klopp. And even Manchester United in that game against West Ham, in the uh, you know the League Cup, they won four goals to one. The second half was like watching old school Manchester United non-stop attack all the time. Mahitarian was playing well. Ibrahimovic was playing well. I mean, it was brilliant to watch. Um, so when teams attack, 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 so much more fun. But I would say Chelsea are the favourite. Liverpool top four is doable this season for them. It is. It's definitely doable. Uh, but they're going to have to keep the form going. Well, you know, just like every other team. Uh, Soap Gaming says, do you think next year PES 2019 uh, will be exclusive for Xbox like FIFA? Don't really know what that means. Uh, I mean, football games are never going to be exclusive to one console. That would be, uh, be a complete shot in the face, in the foot, in whatever body part, by whoever's doing it. I mean, EA would lose an obscene amount of sales for FIFA, and Konami would lose sales for uh, pairs. So, yeah, there's no way either football game is going to be exclusive. So I'm not quite sure what you mean, but please do fill me in. Uh, Gears of War 941, do you think Xbox will get the import kit feature uh, in the up-and-coming PES games? Unfortunately, they can't. They cannot do it due to Microsoft's limit on USBs and all that stuff. And that's why people get pissed that Xbox can't do the same thing as PS4. Don't blame Konami. Well, the one thing you can't blame Konami for, blame Microsoft. Because Sony have made the ability to import stuff, use USBs, Xbox and Microsoft. They've never had that feature, so that's the reason. Uh, so in Timber Allen, well, so you say your name, I'm sorry, probably not. A um, couple of questions for him. What percentage of your monthly salary comes from your YouTube channel? Not figures, just percentage. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot, to be honest. I mean, I'd probably say percentage-wise now, you know, like 15%, 20%, if that. If that. Um, obviously, the, the later months are better. So, October to December. January is an absolute nightmare. But, uh, yeah, not a lot nowadays, to be honest. As I said before, working and everything else, I want to make sure that is my stability. And YouTube's just something, you know, on the side. It's always been a hobby for me, especially when I started. You know, when you start seeing a little bit of income coming in, yeah, it's brilliant. But you also have to remember, if you do live off a YouTube income, especially in the US, you are paying around 26 to 28% tax. That's ridiculous. So if I was making 100,000 a year on YouTube, obviously, as if, I wouldn't even make anywhere close. I'd make 74, 73,000 of that would be mine. And then the 26, 27,000 is going to taxes. It's mental. Um, I know it's self-income and employment, but it's just, it's just a crazy amount of money on tax. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, secondly, you seem to be good with the ladies. What's your secret? Looks, money, accent, muscles, oh, everything. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, you know, I've always been very, very shy 
around the ladies, to be honest, especially when I go out. I mean, it helps when you go to America and they hear the voice, they hear the accent, of course. Um, but it's just all about being confident in yourself. I mean, I have never had an obscene amount of money and all that. I mean, I worked out when I was 18 and I just sort of carried on doing that. I mean, physique does help, I'll give you that much. If you have a body on you, yes, more attractive women will be more attracted to you, of course. I mean, no attractive woman's gonna go out with a sumo wrestler, that's not the way the world works. But then again, you could be a fat bloke and have lots of money and still attract a woman. But you're attracting the wrong woman because she's not there for you, she's there for the money. So, yeah, it's, it's a combination. Just, just have a good personality more than anything. Uh, a little bit of a joker, a little bit of banter, a bit of fun, a bit of chemistry with the ladies, and it's all gold. And thirdly, please do a house tour, a room tour of the new place you're relocated. Congratulations on 50k. Really enjoy your My Club rants. Well, thank you. Uh, maybe some point, I mean, probably going to move to an actual house next year. This is just an apartment right now, uh, so sort of a stopgap. It's a nice place, uh, but certainly want to move into a house, so that will happen when it happens. Anyway, that is all for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your questions for next week's video in the comments below. If I didn't answer yours, I, I apologize. Uh, I apologize. Just submit it again, and I'll do my best to answer it. But until next time, hope you guys are enjoying it. We have got a lot of masterly coming this week. I will do my best to get a lot of that, of that content out Monday through Sunday. Now, I don't know if I can get a video out every day, like I say, but I will do my best. It is Christmas time. It is busy. I do hope you guys have a blessed Christmas uh, or happy holidays, as some people say. Although I think it's silly and Merry Christmas to me is Christmas. But until next time, have a good Sunday. Hope Manchester and I win today. <laughs> until next time, take care.